Hey, it's Pastor Joe here. Glad to be with you on this Tuesday, April the 24th. Man, the year's already ticking by so fast. What a great day Sunday was. If you were in the service, you know how the Lord's presence was here and how there's a spirit of worship and praise and fellowship. It just, it gets sweeter every week. So uh, looking forward to the rest of you coming back as soon as possible. Let's get that reentry plan worked out and, and get on back in fellowship with us because God's doing some great things here. Good things coming up. Uh, a couple announcements I want to make to you just at the end, but I have a few minutes I want to just share what's on my heart with. But at the end, I will talk about a couple of events that I really want you to take note of and participate in. Just first of all, you know, reading today and even prepping for my sermon for these last weeks, the Lord's really been speaking in my heart about uh, what we've been preaching about, obviously. Uh, knowing God beyond the superficial level, beyond just, hey, I, I know Jesus, have a personal relationship. But what that really means in our heart and life, and we've talked about the introduction, how the gospel opens that door and how the Lord loves us. And because he first loved us, we love him. I talked about defining the relationship. We've talked about deepening the relationship. And this Sunday, we're going to be talking about, I think, most likely hindrances to the relationship. But in studying all this, I was looking in John 21, where Jesus, it's after the resurrection. Remember, Jesus appears to the disciples at the Galilee, and they're fishing, and Peter jumps out of the boat, and he comes to see the Lord Jesus. Uh, you know, there's, there's a piercing question as Jesus has Peter, and they're just sitting there by the fire and talking just between them. And Jesus asked that piercing question. Peter, do you love me? And, I, you know, he asked him three times. But I wonder, you know, as we look at that and we think about that passage of Scripture, how often have we let the Lord Jesus speak those words to our heart? You know, Joe, do you love me? You know, if, if you really love me, do you love me? And he asked him three times. Like, twice it's the word love for agape, and once is phileo. It's like, you know, do you love me with that godly love? Do you love me with a sacrificial love, a love that would sacrifice everything for me? And he asked him that twice, and the third time it's, do you phileo? Do you love me as a friend? And, uh, you know, that's that's where we have to come back to in our relationship with the Lord if we want to see uh, passion and inspiration and fire and revival in our heart. It always gets back to the simplicity of a love relationship. Do I love Jesus today? Do I love him more than the world? Do I love him more than the materialism of the world? Do I love him more than uh, the fads of the world? Do I, do I, do I love you? you know, do, do you love me, Joe? And I think we should all be willing to hear the Holy Spirit whisper that in our ear. And even not just once, but repeatedly. Uh, and, and evaluate where we're at. Evaluate our church our walk, our home, our lives, in the context of that, do you do you really love me? Because a passion for Jesus is what is at the, at the heartbeat of it. And we know we love him because as 1 John says, we, he loved us first. But coming back to that relationship, because it is so easy to get sidetracked in the culture that we're living in today, there'll be a million other things calling for those affections in your heart, you know? And so we have to come back to the place to ask ourselves, you know, we really loving the, loving the Lord with all our heart, mind, soul, body, and strength. Because there are hindrances, and I think that every one of us sees those hindrances every day in our life. And I know that many times when I get frustrated or despondent or despairing, or uh, and, and it may be just, just in, a, in a place of, of spiritual apathy, it really goes back to that. And am I willing to let the Spirit of God whisper those words once again to my ear? Do you love me? Do you love me more than these? Do you love me even as a friend? Do you love me as a brother? Uh, do you love me in, in a sacrificial way? And then he only stated two other things to him in, in regard to it. One is repeated after you love me. He said, feed my sheep. You know, uh, uh, if you love God, you're going to love people. That's just the way it works. And uh, there's not going to be a racist bone in your body. There's not going to be a, a bitter bone, even though there's going to be temptation to be uh, bitter and, and divisive and arg argumentative in your life. You get back to loving Jesus, you start loving people again. And then he said the third thing in that passage, you know, first it was, do you love me? And it, okay, yes, then feed my sheep. And the third thing he said was, uh, follow me. You know, so today, just take the time to stop for a moment, listen to the Lord as he appeals to you in that love relationship and uh, respond by, by following him and by loving people. Uh, that's, that's the core of what our whole fellowship is about. We've defined our church around those, that simple phrase of we love God. Well, that's what we need to do. We need to really love him. And we love people. It needs to pour out of our love for God. And do we have a desire to follow him? And he's, he's reaching people. There's people all around us today that are hurting. And they're, they're, they may not show any tears on the outside, but there's brokenness inside. There's struggles in their families. There's struggles on their job. There's personal struggles. There's addictions. There's all kinds of things that the world is plagued with today. 
brokenness is everywhere around us. And so let's 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 manifest the love of Jesus through our hearts and our life by, by loving people today. That's that's the word I have for you today. That's the word for me today as well. Uh, do you love me? And it, uh, the answer should be resoundingly, yes, Lord, you know I love you. But let's also be honest to be and transparent enough to let God shine through us with that same grace and that same kind of love and mercy for others. Hey, a couple of things I want to tell you about. One, I'll just get a prayer request. My wife, Kathy, some of you have seen her walking around with a cane here the last few weeks. Uh, she has an issue that we thought was the knee because it just give out on her. Uh, after going to uh, specialists and doctors, they felt like, uh, and testing that they felt like it was more of a lumbar issue, did some CAT scans on her lower back, said that because the issues you're having in your your lower back, is creating the issues. There's pain. There's not a lot of pain in the knee. It's just that it quits. And so uh, she's going in uh, tomorrow morning. So we'll be praying first. She's going to have a a, a shot, a, a steroid shot. It's got an epidural shot of steroids into the lower region of her spine, the lower lumbar. And then she'll be following up with the physical you know, therapy of the days following. So she doesn't request a lot of prayers. She's just such a quiet servant of Jesus and loves you guys so much. And I know you love her. So be praying for her today and tomorrow and a few weeks following up, just to minute, reach out and minister to her, how the Lord might lead you, as well as for anybody else in our church that's going through those kind of things. We're lifting up uh, so many in, in need right now. Also to remind you that ladies tonight at the Magnolia campus, there is a fellowship. Look on the online. You'll see the events on, on our webpage as well as our Facebook page. This Saturday, there's a men's event. Don't miss out on that. And just a few weeks from now is Mother's Day. And I'm excited. You know, we did this several years ago on our Mother's Day celebration. We did the photo booth, and we're going to be doing that again this year. So moms, get on the phone. Dads, get on the phone and tell the family to come get together. Bring your kids in from wherever they might be and uh, have, a, have a photo shoot together with your family. We'll be talking about that Sunday, and so we'll be watching that and watching our, 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 our social media outlets to see how you can register for that and how you can get in line for that and have your, your family photo taken. No charge. They'll be uploaded to a site, and you'll be able to download the pictures as you desire. You can take them anywhere you want and get them printed or just print them off yourself. But that's coming up on Mother's Day. Don't miss that. It's going to be a great day in the Lord, so it's going to be a, a fun time as well as we celebrate our moms who do so much for us. So God bless you. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday, and uh, let's see what God has for us. God bless you.